Yeah, you know, we, we joke it's like probably only Batman says the title of the movie more than we do. Like, it's, uh, it comes up a lot. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's a philosophy uh, that uh, Patrick Spencer espouses in the film, and it's, uh, it's I, I guess as a writer, it's sort of uh, somewhat based on um, my continued frustration uh, with us uh, not taking responsibility uh, for the climate uh, the way we should, you know. That's, uh, it's, uh, it's a real problem, and it's, uh, it's our problem in the Western world, and uh, it's, uh, it's partially based on that. I, I feel as a culture we've uh, abandoned uh, our responsibilities, sometimes to each other, and uh, the fact is uh, people do care. People care uh, a lot about each other, and uh, the more we wake up to our capacity to care about each other, the better off we'll all be. There's this homeless man with giantism, played by Quentin Aaron. He's a huge man, eight feet tall, and due to his size, he's pressed into service by his drug dealer. Um, soon he's involved in crime, and he becomes involved in the kidnapping of a young woman, but the young woman happens to be the daughter of a prominent self-help guru, played by Alan Thicke, who preaches perfect selfishness. And so to prove that he's a man of his word, he abandons his daughter to the kidnappers, and it's up to the giant to save the day. Ah, the premiere went just great, you know, uh, uh, what a time, it's uh, such an honor to be here, it's such a beautiful place, uh, the, the crowd was great, they were uh, really responsive, people asked lots of questions at the end and uh, all that, and then, uh, and then we partied like crazy, and then we slept like three hours, and now we're here, now we're here with you. Showtime. All kinds of all kinds of fun stuff happens on set, lots of pranks and shenanigans, and uh, we shot quick, so we didn't always have time for pranks, but we made time, you know, we made time. Um, uh, a funny little uh, tidbit about the movie: there's a, a beautiful shot of uh, across the lake uh, at, a, at a mountain, and we went up to Banff to uh, to get that. Uh, but there's so many forest fires uh, recently in Banff that um, the mountains that we had come for were completely covered by this mist. So uh, if you see the movie, the mountain uh, is actually CGI, and uh, we had to put a big digital mountain in front of what was a very real mountain, just invisible. It's not the money. I have the money. I keep 12 million in cash right here in the house in a safe. Well, it was uh, it was great to get Alan on board. We were uh, courting him earlier uh, for Tiny Plastic Men, which uh, was a, a sitcom that we had on Super Channel uh, for a, a good few years. Alan does a hilarious turn as like a family court judge who gets to decide if I get to keep my daughter or not. Um, and he was great. Uh, but Alan gets a lot of uh, uh, comedy TV offers, you know, and um, what, what he was looking for was something different. So we, we tempted him with our, our little uh, TV show, but we, uh, we had this gritty feature uh, on, the, uh, on the back burner. And uh, so uh, Alan was kind enough to do the guest spot, uh, but it was, the, uh, it was the gritty feature that, that he was more uh, interested in artistically. Um, so we got to do that as well. And, uh, you know, he brought a lot of passion to it, and I think you can see it on the screen. The one thing I want to do in Whistler, besides party at the Whiff, um, well, I'll tell you, me and my wife, we're here. Um, she's pretty pregnant, and uh, we're here on kind of a baby moon, you know, which uh, I don't know if it's done as much as it used to be. It was like a, you know, a little trip you take together to really reconnect romantically before you have another baby, uh, in our case, another baby. Um, so we really want to do the uh, the peak to peak gondola ride, um, and uh, today might be the day. We'll see.